Anyone want to guess money whether or not that camera is trained on me right now? What do you think? Spread the ladybug love, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. The press slept through it as usual. So when I did my ill-advised protest and took the bridge hostage, when I occupied the bridge for six hours and caused the largest traffic jam in San Diego history, the part of the story you probably haven't heard is about three hours into it, I gave up. I was willing to surrender right there on the spot on one condition. Bonnie Dumanis, get on the phone with me and I will surrender to her. That traffic jam went on another three and a half hours because Bonnie Dumanis was too afraid to talk to a homeless guy on a bridge. This is supposed to be the most powerful, one of the most powerful people in San Diego. There she is right at the top floor of the Justice Building, ruining people's lives like she does best. Good job, Bonnie Dumanis. So I am truly sorry. I am truly sorry for everyone who was caught in that traffic jam. It was wrong of me to involve the people of San Diego in my personal beef with the government. But that traffic jam would have ended hours earlier if Bonnie Dumanis, sitting up there in her office, wasn't afraid to get on the phone with me. I told the cops on the bridge, I will walk off right now. Just get Bonnie Dumanis on the phone, I will surrender to her. And hours went by and she just wouldn't get on the phone. <coughs> Bonnie Dumanis, <coughs> that's my Bonnie Dumanis impression. I arrest marijuana patients, but I'm afraid to talk to one. So, get the last few ladybugs here at the Hall of Justice. I think this bag of ladybugs, I think I'm gonna put it right there. That's what I think of justice. I think it deserves some uh, metaphor. I don't think justice is too much to ask. Hey, look, a bunch of ladybugs flying around the justice building. Alright ladybugs, let's see if we can get some justice. Every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war.